Our topic for today would be about the research proposal for the experimental design. Now, the questions are, what is a research proposal and why do we need to write a research proposal? So first, a research proposal is a blueprint that outlines your plans for your study. We write a research proposal in order for us to assess if our study is doable or not considering the resources that we have and the time that is available. That's why a proposal is subject for approval or disapproval. Now, a proposal should be able to answer these questions. First, what is it about? What is the basis of your proposal? What does it seek to answer? What is the goal of your study? Who would benefit from the study? How will you do it? How would you treat and analyze your data? What are the limitations of your research? Do you have a reliable basis or references? Now we have different parts of the research proposal that answers such questions. To give you an overview, these are the parts of the research proposal. First, we have the title, the introduction, the review of related literature, the research problem, the objectives of the study, the significance of the study, the materials and methods, the statistical tools, the delimitations, and of course, we have the bibliography. Now these parts of the research proposal should be able to answer such questions. First, what is it about? The title and the introduction should be able to answer this question. The title consists of the problem and the proposed solution, while the introduction consists of a background about the problem, background about the proposed solution, and of course about the community impact. This is the part where you need to cite some references to prove that there is a problem that needs to be addressed. Next question would be, what is the basis of your proposal? So the review of related literature should be able to answer this question. The RRL consists of facts about the proposed solution and facts about the problem. It is important to cite some references in the RRL because this part provides the basis for the feasibility of your proposal. For example, you want to use powdered eggshell as a proposed solution to rice foliage, but what is the basis for using powdered eggshell? So this is the part where you need to read the latest scientific journals to gather more information and compare and contrast their findings so that you can use them for your topic. The next question would be, what does it seek to answer? The research problem should be able to answer this question. Basically, you have two research problems. First, what your research seeks to answer about the problem and what your research seeks to answer about the proposed solution. Next, what is the goal of your study? The objectives of the study should be able to answer this question. Your goal is to provide evidence in order to answer the research problem. Next question would be, who would benefit from your study? Now, the significance of the study should be able to answer this question. What you should write is, you should relate how your research could be beneficial to the community, scientific community, and of course, the researchers. Next question would be, how will you do it? Now, this is very important. You also have to ask yourself whether you have the available resources. So, first, you need to prepare a methodology flowchart. Next would be a research design. And then, of course, you should know your variables. So next, how would you treat and analyze your data? So the statistical tools should be able to answer this question. You should write the statistical tools that you would use and explain how will you use them. Next question would be, what are the limitations of your research? So the delimitations should be able to answer this question. You should state the scope of your research and the constraints. Again, you should be able to decide the scope of your research. And the last question would be, do you have reliable references? Now the bibliography should be able to answer this question and you should use APA citation and avoid citing unreliable sites. And that's the basics for writing a research proposal. Now the format of your research proposal varies depending on the evaluation committee but these are the basic elements that you need. And that's it for our topic for today.